walking home at 2 a.m. I said goodbye to my guitar partner and walked out, slowly into the darkness beyond the small parking lot and its rusty dirt cars and garbage cans and headed down the white way. The empty sidewalk surrounded by thick trees that cast those shadows below dimly lit street lamps while sudden burst of cold wind blew, leaves crinkled and far off a few rushing motors faded in the distance and I walked on. Engulfed in the darkness were signs of life and the silent homes were few. Human beings resting here and everywhere for the same tomorrow for the rest of our lives. And I walked into Fulton and made a left, wandering when I too lose direction and succumb to the machine. And I stopped, glancing at my watch as seconds ticked off and then walked on towards home, a lonely prisoner of an age of guided missiles and misguided men and women lost in their old and rush for satisfaction, a lonely prisoner of an age where dreams have exploded in nightmares of massive death weapons and worldwide poverty, and I alone, powerless to stop it, in desperation sweating, I searched above where the stars glittered, harsh sadness.